Now, a lot of you would have seen the video at this stage that has gone viral today of a group of people mocking the death, the murder of Michaela McAreevy. It happened in an orange lodge uh, while people were uh, apparently celebrating the Diamond Jubilee up north. The PS and I in the Orange Order, they are investigating uh, the video being condemned from all sides. Well, Joe Brawley is a columnist with the Sunday Independent and he joins me now. Joe, I know like lots of our listeners, you will have seen the video. What was your reaction upon watching it? The real problem is that this is in you know, a very well-known Orange Lodge. Um, you know, there are people of all ages there. The uh, walls emblazoned with the ban- banners of the Orange Lodge, the Dundonald Purple Vine. And, you know, this song has clearly been written, been learned off by heart. Uh, it's sung enthusiastically by people of all ages there. And... Um, you know, there's a triumphalist tone, which we've been all too familiar with in the North over the last, I suppose, since the foundation of the state. And, you know, this idea that um, that they are supreme and, uh, and that they can behave how they like towards, you know, our community is really just underscored in this. Because, I mean, no one... Uh, is doing anything other than reveling in it and enjoying it, I mean, and uh, and so it's very um, depressing. I mean, I sent I sent Mickey Hart a text when I, when I saw it. No doubt, half the country has done that, and I just hope that they're not uh, too distressed by it. It's really very very disappointing. Now the uh, condemnation, understandably, has has followed the the. The, the usual pattern, uh, you know, the senior members of, of the Orange Order saying, you know, they, they cannot condone this type of behaviour and they will they will investigate it and there will be disciplinary action if any members okay, well, were so you know, involved. That's, that's all well and good. That's all well and good. And there's no doubt that, you know, you look at the centenary period last week and it was largely very peaceful and, you know, there appeared to be a lovely atmosphere at it and people of all ages enjoying it. And that's terrific. You know, I have no issues around that whatsoever. But, you know, the content of the speeches, what has been happening in the North over the last year, the hysteria whipped up by the traditional unionist voice, the CJ Malisters made a statement condemning it today, or by the Orange Lodges, by Merritt Mervyn's story and their speeches at the centenary event, where we are the enemies. Our enemies will not succeed against us. You know, Arlene Foster talking about, you know, uh, those who seek to denigrate us, you know, uh, will not succeed. Jeffrey Donaldson saying, oh, we will be here for another hundred years in spite of our enemies. I mean, all of that inflammatory talk tells you that what happened in that Orange Lodge, and which was filmed joyfully and posted joyfully, you know, is part of a culture, you know, a very uh, sectarian culture and you know one that thankfully finally in the north Doug Beatty the Ulster Unionist Party leader is standing up to and you know he's got a huge job of work in his hands there uh, and we've seen how that progressive middle ground has really deserted unionism and moved to the Alliance Party which has been a brilliant development because there are all denominations and none but hopefully this will be a, some sort of turning point where serious work will have to be done on the sort of sectarianism and hate which is peddled day in, day out. You know, and make no mistake about it, the, the subtle hints from the leadership of the DUP, from the TUV, make all of this acceptable. And it's all well and good for them today to, to condemn this. You know, of course, it, it's impossible not to condemn it. But they all have a duty. And we know how over the last year, Hysteria has been whipped up in the north, and and so this behaviour is acceptable, unless you're caught. 